Hi guys, this is Jen and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'd like to share with you kung saan pwede i-download ang housing loan calculator as requested by my viewers. Ito po yung exact video na kung saan maraming uh, nagre-request kung saan po ba daw pwedeng ma-download yung housing loan calculator. Nag-share po ako ng link na will direct you into my uh, website. So, ito po siya. Just click this one. So, ilagay ko po yung link sa description box para you can easily access it. So, click this. So, you are now in my website. So, meron po akong disclaimer dito. Tapos, just scroll down. And click this one. Download the Excel here. Once you are now in Google Drive, kasi na-upload ko siya sa Google Drive, just click this arrow to download the file at masave yan sa iyong computer. Ma-download mo po yan kahit hindi ka naka-sign in sa iyong uh, email. Once tapos na ma-download, just click this, this file sa bandang ibaba. Or you can access the download folder. Ito siya. Then open this. Meron pong iba nag-email sa akin na hindi daw nila ma-access yung uh, Google Sheets. So, I think ito po yung na-click nila. Sabi nila, naka-view mode lang daw. So, ang gagawin mo lang is click the file, then make a copy. Then click OK. So, mag-open siya into a new window. So, meron ka ng copy ng Housing Loan Calculator na nakasave sa iyong Google Drive. The problem is, hindi po nag-work yung Excel dito sa Google Docs. So, tinry ko mag-enter ng values. So, meron pong mga errors. So, I suggest po na i-download mo na lang yung Excel into your computer, tapos sa computer ka na lang mag-edit. So, paano po mag-edit ng housing loan calculator na hindi mag-error? So, i-open ko po yung housing loan calculator na dinownload ko papunta sa aking computer para turuan ko kayo kung paano gamitin. Okay, try natin mag-enter ng values. Let's say 1 million. For 6%. By the way, uh, i-delete mo muna itong extra payment na naka-default sa aking Excel. So, for the date, para hindi siya mag-error, I suggest uh, dito po kayo mag-edit sa taas. So, yung first is yung month. Yung second is yung day. Ito yung year. Let's say Feb 1, 2021. Then, click enter. So, yan po. Um, date, February 1, 2021. So, for the extra payment, paano mag-input ng value? So, wag po kayo mag-copy from one cell kasi meron po siyang sariling formula. So, all you have to do is input manually. Let's say 5,995.51 para sure po na tama ang computation. So, yun lang po at salamat po sa panunood. 
just comment or ask any questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.